Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me video. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of filming today and I wanted to just kind of film a get ready with me video because that seemed kind of fun but I'm not going to be able to do as much filming as I had hoped just because we have someone coming to fix our bathtub and they are going to be coming a little bit earlier and I ended up taking a nap so yeah. So I did get my hair done yesterday for the first time since November so I'm feeling so much better but I don't really have to do much to my hair just fix it up a little bit but I do need to put on a little bit of makeup so I'm gonna use this little cute headband that I actually got in a package from Simon & Schuster for the Always and Forever Laura Jean adaptation that just came out on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet honestly I haven't even watched P.S. I is it P.S. I Still Love You? I think that's what it is. I don't know. I always get it mixed up because there is also a Casey West book that has a similar name but anyways the point is I am very behind on those adaptations. Oh my god, I'm not cute enough for this. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it anyways. So I'm just going to be doing a neutral look with the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. This is more of a cool toned palette of neutrals and I had really wanted to kind of stick to cooler tones because I feel like everything that I've been wearing recently has been reading more warm, which is kind of weird, but I do tend to really enjoy cool tones. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of putting something together, playing around with that and putting on a face. I'm not doing anything too major today. I'm not really feeling like wearing like a ton of makeup, especially because I don't think I'm going to be able to film as many videos as I had wanted to, but I'm going to make it work. I need to go and grab a palette with a mirror though, because I don't like how this palette doesn't have a mirror. It makes me really sad. So I'm going to go and grab that. Okay. So I just grabbed It's My Pleasure just because it has like a little mirror in there. So I will use that to put on my face. I actually really need to get an eyeshadow primer, but I keep on forgetting to do that. But my eye shadow creases pretty easily because I have hooded eyelids so I really do need to invest in one of those. So gyms have reopened where I live because things have kind of started to calm down which is really nice but I have started going back to the gym and I went this morning and I've been booking it for like I've been trying to get into the habit of waking up at 5 a.m which is like obviously quite early but I've been trying to do that and it has been like a very interesting thing like I find that I have been liking it but when the gyms were closed I like I've been having a really hard time like staying active and working out at home like I've still been taking the dog for a walk I mean we've taken a pause on that because we've gotten a lot of snow recently so it's kind of too snowy out there to take him for a walk right now but we have like a pretty decent home gym and I just I have not had the motivation to work out because adjusting to my medication has been really difficult. I actually have an appointment today and I think we're going to change medications because like it's like a different kind of tired. <laughs> like the exhaustion that I've been feeling from this medication is like it's not something where like I get really tired and there's days when I just want to spend the whole day in bed when I'm feeling like really depressed but I'm always able to like get myself out of bed eventually because I still do have things that I want to accomplish and I want to do but now like there's things that I want to accomplish and do but I'm legitimately so tired that I can't like even if I want to like get up and get a glass of water I have to like pump myself up to do that like it's just such a debilitating exhaustion and it's so horrible and I have been on this same medication before but I really wasn't doing well when I was on that medication and I was in high school and I don't really remember the effects of it because like I was younger and I wasn't the one like who chose to go on medication like it was something that happened to me so I just don't remember being so tired but it's ridiculous so I'm really glad that like I did figure out that that's what has been causing my exhaustion because it has been so debilitating and it's frustrating too because there are so many things that I want to do and like so many things that I want to accomplish and that I'm excited to do I just literally don't have the energy to get started with any of them so it is like so annoying but luckily like we are figuring that out so it is hopefully going to be something that won't take like a super long time to sort out. I'm hoping that 
like maybe changing to a different medication might fix things and might help out because like everything else with it has been working really well like it definitely has been really beneficial but it just I'm so tired literally all the time it doesn't matter how much sleep I get it's like horrible but at least like going to the gym does get me out but when I came home like I was like fighting it for so long but I ended up falling asleep and having a little nap because I knew that I wasn't gonna have much filming time today because I knew we had people coming in the afternoon to fix our bathtub but I just like I was like I'll nap for a little bit I like set an alarm and everything and I did end up getting up when the alarm went off but it still did kind of like mess up my schedule a little bit but like I am taking it easy I do have like so many life changes that might be coming my way in the next little bit that I've kind of talked about on Instagram but I haven't really talked about a lot because nothing's official and I don't really want to talk about anything until it is official but like this is something that has kind of been talked about for like more than a year now I feel like and I I don't think I've ever really mentioned it just because nothing has ever been like even close to official but this is like the closest we've gotten to things actually like being cemented basically I might be spending the next little bit of my life moving and like not a small move like a really big move so I'm definitely like I have mixed feelings on that like I'm excited but at the same time right now it's something like I don't know we don't know for sure if it's happening or not so I can't really prepare for it because of that which is definitely frustrating because I'm a planner and I like want to prepare but I can't really do much so as soon as I do know things like I'll talk a little bit more about it I just I don't see the sense in like talking about it right now when I really don't know if it's happening let, like let alone when it's happening but hopefully in the next little bit like we should have some answers for that it's just right now it's like a waiting game which really isn't that fun but not much I can do about that so like we'll see I do really love this stone cold fox palette like I am really into cool toned colors and this is like such a lovely one it has so many different options like I'm having a lot of fun with it because there's a lot of shades that go really well together but it's just a really fun one to like play around with like you can do some nice neutral looks or you can kind of like make it more smoky like there are definitely a lot of options and it's really I don't know it's really fun I'm kind of liking how this is turning out I think I'm actually gonna leave it at that for the eyeshadow so like it's nothing really extreme so I'm gonna do the rest of my face now because I like to do my eyes first and then I will do like I'll blend it underneath and everything I am going to go and get Charlie though because he was sleeping but he just woke up do, 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 do. this is how we transport him in his bed he loves it it's his favorite <laughs> say hello everyone Charlie <laughs> so yeah I do really enjoy this palette I haven't really gotten the chance to play around with it a lot just because I got so many palettes at the same time that like there are some that I haven't even used yet <laughs> to be honest but to get like free shipping the total was quite like had to be quite high so that's why I got so many at the same time but now I'm just putting on this elf luminous putty primer which I still am not like really sure how I feel about it I definitely have fuzzies in my hair from this headband oh well but I'm not entirely sure about this primer yet like my aim is just for skin that doesn't look dry because especially this time of year my skin is very dry and I don't know how much this helps with that but I am still using it because I bought it and I mean I guess it does give the glowy look I don't know I've never cared about face products as I said in the last video where I was talking about makeup <laughs> and now I've started to like actually care about them and I just don't know really where to begin with them so it's been an interesting experience but I do really enjoy my expensive foundation that I got the Laura Mercier one it has been working really well so this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation and I totally splurged on it like this is probably the most expensive no it's definitely the most expensive face product I've ever bought because I will spend more on like eyeshadow palettes than I will on foundation because it's not as fun but at the same time like foundation does make such a world of difference like I definitely notice this foundation making a huge difference in my complexion and I just never really like cared that much about it because I've never really had bad skin but like I definitely don't regret spending the money on this foundation like I do really enjoy it so 
at least it was worth it and I don't need a lot either so I think it's going to last me a while like one pump doesn't give you a lot but I find that one pump definitely does the job so I just like to stipple it in first and then I'll go in with a sponge and kind of like pat it down and smooth things out a little bit I don't really know why but it's just kind of that's how I do things you know <laughs> so a lot of you guys have noticed I mean obviously you've noticed because it's been like a major change but I've really changed up my editing and I've been having so much fun with it like I know it's not everyone's cup of tea which is to be expected but I've just been really enjoying it like I love just kind of doing whatever which is really what I've been doing with my channel is just kind of doing whatever and it has made things like so fun and so much more liberating like honestly I'm super excited about it I know like the non bookish videos have been kind of like fewer and far between than I would have liked but that's just because I've been so exhausted like this adjustment has been really hard so that's why things are taking quite a bit longer than I would have hoped for them or else I would have like had more videos out at this point so they are coming it's just like the book videos kind of take less preparation like I do have stuff planned out it's just I don't need to prepare as much for the book videos so those are kind of what like I end up doing first before I do the non-bookish ones that I have planned but like I definitely have a lot planned like I am super excited about them and everything and eager to get them done but it's just kind of like the possible imminent move I've been like well I should kind of wait for that because that's going to be a lot of non-bookish content and just being so tired I'm like well I'll just do the book stuff and then I'll figure out the rest later so that's why it's kind of been a bit more slow going so <laughs> sorry about that but I am glad that you guys have been enjoying them like I definitely have been feeling a lot more at ease and a lot better about things which is probably a combination of just like kind of being honest about things has definitely helped and um also obviously like actually getting medical attention has really helped so it has been like all around these past couple of months have been a lot better than recently but I do still plan on doing like um workout routine and I forget what else I was gonna do but like I had a few videos planned like that like definitely some productivity content I wanted to do that and I am really excited for it so that will happen at some point. I definitely forgot to go and get a bronzer, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my little e.l.f. contour palette here. This is just what I use as far as bronzer goes. And I feel like I use a different brush every single time, to be entirely honest. But, oh, this is an angled one. I don't think I want to use that one. I kind of want to use a big fluffy one because I like how it, like, diffuses things. And it's not such, like, a harsh look so I'm gonna use this big fluffy Sigma one that I've had for ever. Another thing I was actually planning on doing which I did kind of talk about a little bit but I have kind of acquired things for it so I'm not sure how the series is going to work yet but I want to do a series where like basically I try new things so like I got like a little like paint by numbers kit so then I can do painting and I also got an embroidery one so I was like I can kind of try that and like I think I'll be really frustrated with that. That went on so dark. Oh my god. I really need to fix that. <laughs> but essentially I just wanted to like try new things and see if I can maybe pick up a new hobby and like I don't know just something to do you know. So I think that's better. Well that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> but I just like videos like that intimidate me because I don't really know how to go about it and it just I don't know. It's like I guess it's probably partially an anxiety thing because like even when I'm going somewhere that I've never been before I get so anxious about it because like I'm like what is the parking gonna be like what if it's like it's somewhere I've never driven like I just get so nervous about it so like that's kind of how I'm feeling about these videos which is really like silly like from an outsider's perspective but to me it entirely makes sense I'm like no like it totally makes sense for me to be like so worried about these tiny little logistical things that like don't matter but like to me they do I literally just look like I smudged dirt on my freaking nose I didn't know that I was going to be so pigmented. I thought that I got enough off. Oh dear. Overall, my life right now is just like a waiting game, which is like super unfortunate just because like I am the least patient person ever. But right now there's like nothing I can do but wait for like a number of things. So I'm like, well, I guess we're just going to wait and we're just going to learn 
some patience honestly i don't really know how you're supposed to do getting ready with me videos like am i supposed to talk about the makeup that i'm using i don't really know this is a becca highlighter by the way in vanilla quartz so i use the same things all the time pretty much like as far as face products i know there's a lot of people who like still do getting ready with me videos but i've never really watched them so i don't really know what the protocol is for them anymore so i'm just kind of doing my own thing where like i chat about things well, I'm getting ready and I hope you guys like that. I almost keep on going into the purple palette because I have that open underneath, which like is not exactly what I want for an eyebrow highlight. As per usual though, if there's like anything that you guys want for bookish content or otherwise, please do let me know because like I am always looking for ideas. I do have like a massive list now, but I still like love getting inspiration and I get a lot of good ideas from you guys so and ultimately like as much as I'm also making content that like I want to make I do want to still be making content that you guys want to see so if there is anything in particular that like the two things what I want to make and what you want to see lines up then perfect <laughs> now I'm just gonna be taking the creme gel liner in honey dude and I'm going to be putting that on my waterline and then I'm going to be kind of like blending the eyeshadows that I have in the crease uh, underneath my eyes so then it looks more like what's the word that I'm looking for seamless I guess I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit but sorry I couldn't really talk through that process so that's why that happened as it did but I'm going to do my brows and actually I keep on jumping around I don't know why I'm doing this but I haven't even done blush yet like I'm honestly just jumping around to like whatever I think of which I guess is kind of how I might do my makeup every day like it just is like oh this and then also this and then that and it's just a bit a wee bit chaotic but that is my life which whatever i don't do a lot for my brows i just kind of like fill in any areas where it might be a little bit sparse like i don't really change the shape or anything i'm pretty happy with like just how they are so i just kind of fill in like mostly right here is where it needs to be filled in a little bit but I also will kind of like smudge it out because I don't want it to be too intense but then I also will brush them so then it looks a little bit more uniform so I really don't do that much I almost forgot blush again this is why I should not like do things out of order I'm still not exactly sure how to use this blush like it's the super shock cheek from Colourpop but like I guess that kind of got color off. I don't know. I'm just still not exactly sure what the right way is to apply this, but I'm going to try it with this little angled brush here because that is what I have and we'll see if it works. I don't know. I don't really have another use for this brush, so like I don't know if that's doing anything. I'm going to take my fingers and do 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 do. I always struggle with blush. Like I just feel like I don't see a difference until I'm like, oh god, I've gone too far. Like <laughs> either I don't see anything or it's way too much so yeah well I think that's just gonna be that I don't know if that was well done but it's just that's what's happening on my face so now I'm going to go and do my eyeliner using my Stila stay all day liquid liner and then I'm going to do mascara with my Maybelline sky high mascara which is honestly so good so I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back because I can't really talk through those things so my eyeliner and mascara are done and I do have like a little bit of smudges on this eye that I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I will fix it up but now I'm just going to do my lips so this is the Sephora cream lip stain and honestly I love these I use them all the time like pretty much whenever you guys ask what I'm wearing on my lips it is these because they just don't like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything and it stays and I just really love them so this is in the shade 13 like they just have numbers on the bottle so I'm sorry but this is like a really nice neutral like pinky shade so I'll just put it on and then I'll take like a Kleenex and just kind of dab it so then it's not as intense and I really love them they smell like super good and it's just it's so soft honestly I don't know I've never really found like a lip product like this that is as good like I'm a 
big fan of these and so I'm ready to film so I'm just gonna like fix up my hair a little bit with my Dyson air wrap I think I can make kind of like similar curls to what my hairdresser did I think it's really just this side that needs to be fixed up a little bit so it must be the side that I slept on I don't really know but I'm just going to fix that up a little bit and then get to filming so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed I had a lot of fun doing it it's fun to like get ready to film but simultaneously get a video done and like a really fun one too so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a new video soon. Bye!